In the heart of Enugu, where football is more than just a game, a story of revival and hope unfolds. Fideli Zilechuku, a coach with a vision, has brought new life to Enugu Rangers, a team that had once lost its spark. From uh, 2024 um, years today, you know, it's not easy, you know, from grassroots. Talented football club, um, joined Montana Fire Miracle Ministry, worked there for 13 good years. Moved to Heartland Football Club for two years, from Heartland Football Club to Plateau United for two years. Now landed in Enugu Rangers and then uh, won the league in Enugu Rangers. Finished second position in MFM, second position in Plateau United and won the league in Rangers International. Ilechuku is no stranger to the Nigeria Premier Football League. His move to Enugu Rangers was both a challenge and an opportunity to rebuild a team with a rich history one that had struggled to maintain its dominance in recent years. Also happy, um, two games to go, before two games to go, I 100% believe that Rangers is going to be the champion. You know what it means? <laughs> I was so happy, I was like, it was like a dream actually, but a uh, dream that comes to pass and like two days, I can't sleep, you know, at my home house. You know, being on bed, thinking how stress and everything. I was actually thinking I was supposed to win it in MFM because I worked so much hard for it in MFM. But in Rangers, it was a little bit easy because of the stress and everything and the kind of uh, technical career I have around me. But in, in, in MFM, it was so tough and I didn't win it. So I don't see it coming. So the moment I saw that it's very, very possible, all of us were like, God, so this is MPFL trophy in our hands. And in our time, it was new trophy. Everything was just new and we thank God for that. With big amount of money, one of 15 million naira. Fidelis Ilejuku is rich. The management of Enugu Rangers knew they needed a leader who could deliver on the club's heritage while adapting to modern demands of the MPFL. Ilejuku was their man. Under his stewardship, a clear road map was drawn, focused on rebuilding the squad, fostering young talent, and re-establishing the team's identity. What followed was nothing short of extraordinary. With a blend of tactical astuteness and motivational leadership, Ilichuku turned Enugu Rangers into title contenders. The team played with a renewed sense of purpose, overcoming the odds to challenge for the MPFL title. The once dilapidated Namdi Azikiwe Stadium roared with life as fans long starved of success filled the stands believing once again that their beloved team will conquer. The season was a roller coaster with highs and lows but through it all, Ilechuku's philosophy remained clear. Hard work, discipline and unity all the way. Looking at the structure of the team, the team that battled relegation last season, playing in Oka, you know, and in week 8, 9, 10, I think 12, the team was, I think, in 12, 13 position. And I keep on saying we are building. But at the moment we did 10 games on beating, that's when I believe that uh, it's possible we finish third position. And I was saying that we are building. People are saying which kind of building is that, that actually I don't believe that we are going to win the league. Most of the challenges begins last season, towards the end of the season when some team saw themselves in the relegation, you know, uh, uh, battle and they don't want to relegate and you start seeing uh, uh, some things that are not uh, good for the league. When the teams that want to be in continent are fighting from first to three are fighting, first to seven are fighting to win the league and also to be in continent. That is when you start seeing people, start seeing their boys and start, start misbehaving in the stadium to make sure they win the game by all means. So that is the area, and again, is the area of the stadium. There are some pitch. They don't meet the standard to play football there. They don't meet the standard. And I, I, I'm so surprised that they are playing in that same pitch. So I want the uh, league management and the board to look into it and look at the stadiums that they don't meet up to play and jump Premier League to move to nearby stadium where they are military to play. Because it's just like the Rangers, Playing as Tiden who for most going to three season in Oka when the Rangers Stadium did not meet up 
to host the Nigerian Premier League. That's the things I think they have to need to do. The club management, led by CEO Amubi Iziaku, provided the support needed, ensuring that Ilechiku's vision could be realized even if he had to be part of the realization on the field of play. I actually forced him to play. That is the truth. I forced him to play. But people are saying what they are saying in the media. I didn't care about it because I see him training with us, scoring goals in training section. I say, boy, we gotta register this guy. This guy is going to, it's just like a joke. This guy is going to play. He said, coach, I will actually play and we have that space. You understand me? And that brings us more closer. That brings the team and team unite more because of what? When, he, when he's supposed to be at office, is in training section. So it's just like we have him every time in training, have him every time in the bus, every time in the team, every time in, in matches. And we were so close to see the challenges of the team. So forget about what people are saying. Am I not the technical advisor who make the decision who is going to play? And we never walk to me and say, coach, I want to play. A young man, he can't say that, he knows me very well. Enugu State, proud of its own legacy, stood firmly behind the team. The government invested in the upgrading of the Namdi Azikiwe Stadium, ensuring it met league standards, while also offering incentives to attract top talent. In Nigerian Premier League, I think um, the government need to do a serious work in most of the stadiums to make sure that the stadium will meet up to the CAF standard. It's so painful. And it's not going to be a good one for us if CAF move us down to you to play. Because imagine our game against the uh, Enyimba have almost 70,000 fans. What is going to happen playing in New York without anybody? It doesn't make sense to me. Because only that fans alone is an advantage for you to win the game. And I want them to increase the number of the games they are going to show on television because once March is live, it's going to reduce a lot of uh, um, um, uh, negative, you know, situations that is things that are about to happen. People running away because they don't want to to show them on the, when they are fighting and doing some other things. And also, it's going to uh, uh, um, the referee is going to be on top of his game. The assessment of what they are doing is going to be one hundred percent. Everybody wants to see tight and comport themselves because people are watching. So, live game is going to solve eighty percent of challenges we are having in the league. The Nigeria Premier Football League remains a fiercely competitive league, with clubs from Lagos to Kanu vying for supremacy. The competition is intense, with teams like Rivers United, Plata United, Remo Stars and Apple United constantly pushing for the title. But away from the competition on the field, there was an intense rivalry on the greatest mastermind in the league. Remo Stars coach, his trouble is too much. He's a troublemaker, calls me on the phone every night, warning me about the league, meets me on the road, block me with his car, doing so many things that is not acceptable in football. Daniel, Daniel, I've called you again. Leave this league for me, please. For Inugu Rangers, the challenge was not just about competing, but about rising above the mediocrity that had plagued the league in recent years. The state of the league with its financial struggles, inconsistent officiating and infrastructural challenges only made the tax harder. But Ile Chuku remained undeterred. I think there must be a media publicity to make sure that fans start coming out. And again, if you look at the condition of the country, things are so tight. People looking at coming out from their home with transport and food situation, come and pay money in the stadium at the end of the day. The security will not be tight. They prefer sitting at home. I think we are going to have a media work, a lot of media work, and so people will start coming out. Considering uh, the coaches in Nigeria, no matter where they come from, east, west, north, and south, we continue to be one, continue to work, continue to be together. I know with time, everybody will get what they want. As Senegal Rangers looks ahead to the upcoming season, the challenges remain significant. The management has set an ambitious target, competing for the MPFL title, making a mark on the continental stage and solidifying the team's place among the elites of African football. Fidelis Ilechiku is optimistic but also grounded for these talks. The battle of um, 
last season. It was so tough and um, I I know that this season is going to be a very difficult season for Rangers International because um, Remo Stars, Enyimba, Enyimba are the most strongest team and I think they are still strong. Remo Stars and um, um, Kano Pillars and everybody will fight for this season. But to me, we are not fighting to win the league this season. You understand? Because we have won it. We don't want to be under pressure. Like those that have, won, have not won it, or any member that are so desperate for the league should go and win it. We are just positive team, positive coach and positive players who believe that anything can happen. But we don't know what is going to happen. But we are not concentrating in battling of the league. We want to see what we can do in CAF Champions League, not the league. But if the league comes the way it happened last season, why not? Everything is possible. But Rangers are not desperate team. With plans to strengthen the squad for an investment in stadium and a strategic push to enhance the club's financial standing, Inugu Rangers are poised to continue the Cinderella journey. For Ilechuku, it is a story that's far from over, a story of resilience, ambition, and the relentless pursuit of glory. Oninyechi Obaro for News Central.